come on into the ditch. I'm your resident ditch witch, Tara Tyne, and today it's property. Yes, today we are here in the heart of the county Roscommon, as you can see surrounded by beautiful rich turf land. We're actually not too far from the Sligo border on up the road here. And you've heard me mention bogs before on my channel. I promise you one of these days I will do an in-depth video explaining to you all the magic of the bog. That's where we keep all our best shit really. But for today we have one mission and one mission alone and that is to check out some low-cost property. So we're here just beyond the village of Elfin in County Roscommon, which I've always loved the sound of because, you know, elves. This house has been up actually for quite a while on Daft and I just gave a call about it the other day to see what the story was. I know it looks like quite a lot of work needs done. The roof looks like it's in quite a bad way. But, you know, it's been there for so long. It's worth coming out to check that has it been left alone just because it's kind of remote or is it because it's too big of a job for the money that's being asked. As is fairly common when coming to view properties in Ireland, uh, access isn't always the easiest thing. And although we're very, very lucky in that we were easily able to arrange this with the estate agent involved, we didn't expect to have to climb under an electric fence when we got here, but that's that's all part and parcel of property shopping in Ireland. We go and have a look, Dave. Yeah. Wow. Yes, this is quite a space and look at that great big fireplace, which is exactly what you'd want when you're living in such rich bog lands. You'd be burning your turf. And uh, oh, I can nearly smell the turf fire now. And the ceiling looks to be in surprisingly good nick, considering how dodgy looking the roof is from outside. But. The real pitfall, quite literally, begins to reveal itself the further in you come. So this floor is destroyed. Now I don't know if that'd be because of a damp problem or what in God's name was going on there, maybe rotted timbers or... You wouldn't know. So I'd have to ask a little bit more about that. And again, the ceiling is in surprisingly good condition. Like, you definitely do need to replace the roof, but it's quite a small building, so I don't think you'd be talking an exorbitant amount of money. And then another floor with the same problem, so it looks maybe like this could be wood worm, and I'm not going to walk in there because I have to presume that it's quite unsafe. And we see that there is a bit of an issue starting to form on this side with damp. And I feel like possibly the fact that this side is underneath that tree cover, maybe that that's not exactly helping. So you probably need to clear some of those trees out the side pretty quick smart before they get a chance to do any more damage. And we have a, presumably a pantry. Is it a pantry or is it like a sleeping nook? Probably a pantry. Look at that. Sure, Beautiful. Pink like painted. You pay about two grand a month for that in Dublin Seawood. Now, and let's see what we have in here. We have another room here. Okay, we're trying it with Dave's phone torch and that's not exactly helping. Yeah. But actually this room is pretty solid looking. It really only looks like the one that's on the other side of this wall with the, the timber hanging out of the ceiling that looks kind of dodgy like it needs replacing. This is surprisingly solid. There's no signs of like ceiling really falling in anywhere. You'd get a new roof on it and see what the story is with the floors, I suppose. You'd have to be a little bit concerned is that, was it rising damp or was it just woodworm or what went on there? And I've just spotted this fabulous tool standing up again the wall waiting for somebody to pick it up and get to work again. If I'm not mistaken, that is actually for cutting turf. Cutting it, footing it, bringing in the turf, no matter what the weather. Oh, that'd be some view now. We don't know how, how far does that 
veins of the property go. It does only seem to just go to just beyond the house. You can check out the foundations going around here now too. They, I mean, they're a little bit exposed, a little bit crumbly, but I suppose you get an engineer out to have a look at that and make sure it's all good. There is also electricity connected to the house. I don't know if it has water pumped in, so that might be an extra charge. Yeah, look, we've got trees doing damage to the roof here, so you'd also probably need to give uh, a bit of work to a tree surgeon to come in and uh, take care of all of that in a very careful way. And this is around the other side now. We're just kind of looking. This is the boundary of the property here, so as far as room to expand goes, you don't even really have much of that. If you expand out to the back here, you're kind of losing your back garden. But yeah, you can see better there, the, the cubby. Dave's making a very good point that it does look like quite a bit of work. Uh, sort of replacing a roof is one thing, replacing floors is another thing, but maybe having to replace both. And the electrics by the looks of it and too. And the electrics, yeah, well you would definitely need to replace the electrics. Very, very old cottage. And as I say, I don't think that it has water actually piped into the house yet. So quite a lot to consider with this one. But I think when it comes to properties in Ireland, it's kind of about leverage these days. And the fact that this one has been sitting up on the market for so long and nobody else really kind of wants it. Well, I think that means that the pricing might be a little bit more flexible. So myself and Dave will have a bit more of a talk about it. And yeah, if we decide it's not for us, then maybe one of you lovely people watching this might consider taking on this beautiful traditional cottage and showing it the TLC that it really truly needs. And don't forget to hit subscribe to follow along on more of our property adventures. We're probably going to be driving, making little trips all over the country just like this to check out some of these lower cost housing options. And let me know in the comments, are you a cottage owner or a prospective cottage owner? Are you looking to buy property in Ireland or are you undertaking a journey in another country? I'm here for the house pouring as much as you are. So, slow nagas goodbye and good luck to you. I'm your resident ditch witch Tara Tyne and we're about to get witchy whether you like it or not and I'll do it again without the moustache Extreme property shopping <laughs>